Wait a second. Wait a second. There's two projects, big projects. Good morning, everybody. So how's everybody doing today? I do apologize about yesterday. I didn't upload a video. I tried, but I could not because I had a bunch of things to do. Uh, family matters. Okay, so let's talk a couple about a couple things. I got great news. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday, I got great news. The new $RC rockets, rocket ESCs are being shipped tomorrow, today. They got shipped today. Um, so... We have, I believe we have two versions. We have the 45 amp and a 60 amp version. Now I'm supposed to get possibly a pair of each or one of them. I don't know which one just yet, but Dal RC did contact me and I said, yes, send it. So as I know, the Dal RC kind of quickly runs out of stock. So uh, if you, from wherever you're purchasing, if this is out of stock, you're gonna have to wait probably at least a month. So if you're thinking of getting it, and I don't know how good it is just yet, so I, I don't know, uh, as soon as I get it, I will immediately do the testing <clears throat> to know if it's worth buying or maybe not worth buying. But knowing their previous attempts was good. You know, their first ESC into the market was beautiful. Second best four in one, second best four in one ESC in drone mesh land. Okay, not in the entire planet in drone mesh land. What that means is, throughout everything that I've tested, it is the second best four in one ESC. So that's what I mean when I say second best deal, 401 ESC. So in that perspective, and it's still good. It's all my favorite quads, which I really do love and I really do like. And it's, it's, it's been holding out very well, actually. And I would highly recommend it. So that's one thing, as well as the Tico 32s, obviously. Tico 32 is still the best one. one it's still the top 401 ESC in terms of noise filtration. So the new versions are supposed to run 6S. And they do have a higher capacitance, as I understand. And... If they can handle a 6S very well, then they're going to handle 4S absolutely phenomenal. It's just, just how it works. So um, I'm, I'm very curious to see how well that's going to stack up. And also the F3 ESCs, I, I'm almost done testing, and we'll get to see those in a little bit. Uh, what else do we have? The Hollybro F7 uh, Copus 2 and the F7, I'm still... Um, I still haven't tested them to be honest. I still need to 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 take them out this week uh, Tomorrow I cannot or possibly tomorrow, but more likely after the weekend because there's gonna be people playing in the soccer field So I can't fly and uh, yeah, I can't do that um, So yeah, I also have a plan for a new drone mesh split sane build with the spedex is 100 fly tower f4 It's a crazy stack this it's a, it's a form one ESC kind of like the HGLRC H J H four two eight. Anyways, it's like the the mini stacks by HGLRC uh, with a VTX. However, it's also put together via pins. But where it excels is the fact that it's stack height with the VTX, the flight controller, and the ESC is thirteen millimeters. That's crazy, because the drone mesh split sane is a total space inside is around twenty millimeters, which is the standoff height. And uh, 13 millimeters is a really, really beautiful, really nice stack height. It's really beautiful, actually. And it comes preloaded with, with some nice things. The, the, the capacitance on for micro is really nice for the ESC. However, I really need to create a setup to test 20 by 20 stacks because a lot of people have been asking. But I don't know where to start. I don't know what you guys are doing with them. Are you guys actually putting 2306 motors on these? Uh, because I don't, I personally, I don't think that's intelligent, but, um, you know, I could be wrong. I don't know everything on the planet, but yeah, uh, I personally, I wouldn't, but if that's what you wanted me to test against, that's what I would actually. It's a really nice stack here. I'll leave a link down below. comes with everything you need. Even a low ESR capacitor. It comes with a Rubicon. 25 volt, 150 microfarad low ESR capacitor. And it comes with the uh, instruction manual and a nice little box. So we'll see how well this performs. So it's, it's really nice from SpedEx, this one. All right, so a couple things. I have a ton load of things coming on the way. Some provided by Banggood, some I got myself. And uh, I'll leave everything linked down below if you wanna see everything that's coming. A bunch of ESCs, a bunch of quadcopters, a, a crap load of things, a really awesome, great, load of things actually 
<laughs> so uh, the smartwatch is on the way also to do the drone finder with a smartwatch, which will be pretty fun, pretty interesting. Um, so there's a lot of things coming next week. It'll start from Monday throughout the week. I'll probably do a couple mailbag videos or just keep them all and do one mailbag video or mailbag time. But I think it's going to be quite a bit of few things actually that's coming in. So um, it's going to be very fun, very interesting. And uh, it's been a while since, uh, since what is it called? Yeah, I'm just making sure I'm recording audio. Um, so yeah, it's been a while since I got a couple new things. And I haven't, I haven't done frame reviews in a while. If you guys still want to see those or you want me to bring some every once in a while, let me know. I kind of stop doing that wait a second wait a second there's two projects big projects that'll take more than one video I found this LED spinning fan rotating holographic display and I have a hex copter back there <clears throat> you see where I'm going with this I want to make a quad with a holographic display, basically. I don't know how it'll work. I don't know how... Well, I know how to start. I know how to set everything up. But there's one issue, which might prove to be quite tricky. The LED rotating fan holographic display thingy takes AC input. Now, I couldn't tell if it comes with a some kind of a, a power adapter or a power brick. Because if it does, that's really good. You might say, well, why? Well, we can't give AC from the quadcopter unless you put an inverter and the <laughs> inverter is like this big. And no, you can't do that. But if it has something like a laptop charger, which is like a power brick or something, then we can see what it's outputting. Let's say the power brick says, oh, it's a uh, 12 volts, 5 amps. Perfect. That is perfect. Then we can just set up a 12 volt battery you know 3s battery or whatever straight just to that led f rotating thing now obviously it'll increase weight and i couldn't find the weight of that holographic thingy but um i'm gonna see if i can get my hands on one uh i think we could do a lot of crazy cool things with this one so there's there's a couple of them in the market now that look pretty pretty good actually they're, they look really really good like they're possibly usably nice so they're pretty expensive 200 and up so a good one i think is around 350 a good one from theoretical looking at a post that's it i don't know if it's any good or not uh so that's one thing the other thing i found this kit or something i don't know what it's called from neurosky it's basically this thing you put on your head and it has eight sensors and it senses your brain waves and you could control an arduino with it if you know how to program and you can do all these things with it now it has eight sensors now i don't know how you would be able to control each sensor perfectly or what kind of thought you have to put into it which was why I want one I want to bring one and eight eight sensors is good because if you can control each sensor with your brain somehow I, don't, I have no idea how that's eight channels you see where I'm going with this eight channels all we need is five arm throttle right left maybe maybe build so basically I'm gonna build a quadcopter a small one obviously so I don't cut my head off with possibly a barometer, a small flight control of the barometer. So we have altitude hold. Uh, so it'll be a little bit easier to actually just get it off the ground. You know what I mean? So we put altitude hold on it or something of that nature. And then I do a little practice with the, the thingy. If I see it's really feasible, um, if you can really actually control it with your brain, then anybody's going to be able to do it with just some practice. And I'll do the way that I set this up. Uh, how I programmed it and how I set everything up. So it, it, I think it's a pretty simple process, really. Um, it won't get much range, and obviously I don't think it's recommended to have much range. Uh, probably we'll start maybe with some kind of a Bluetooth module, possibly, uh, and an Arduino connected, so we can do an S bus protocol. It'll be probably an uninverted S bus protocol or iBus protocol, or we could just talk straight to the multi Wii protocol inside the flight controllers. I don't know, but it's very possible. It's very, what I'm trying to say it's, it's very easily done. Uh, but I just, I'm curious to see, because there's really not many videos on that thing. So I'm curious to see how, how, how you can control these eight sensors or have, a, how stimulate those sensors basically with your, with your thoughts or whatever. So it's called like NeuroSky. The company's called NeuroSky. Um, I actually forgot. NeuroSky something. Mindwave. 
Mindwave. I think it was Mindwave, the name of the product, Mindwave 2. It's 100 bucks on Amazon, actually. I'll leave a link down below. And uh, with customs and everything, for me, from Amazon, it charged all that things. It was like 145 bucks. So I want to get one, and I want to start something with it. Well, first, obviously, I want to test it. Do a, little, do a little review because there's not really much proper reviews on that thing. So we'll do a little review on it and check it out and see how well that's going to perform. Uh, because I'm very, very curious how or what can we do with that. Because that would be pretty cool. You know, you put like a little brushed quadcopter, a cheap one. We don't have to make an expensive one. You, know, you already paid 100 bucks for that thing. Later on, you know, it's the same principle for a bigger one. Uh, because it's the same flight control, same concept, same everything. So basically, just take the receiver and stick it on another one, and you're good to go, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be, it's it, it's. I think it's pretty interesting to sit there and make the quad hover. Like first, you have to relax or something, I guess, and it'll arm. I have no idea. I I, I don't want to just go blah 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 about bullshit I don't know about, but um, I really want to try it. I think it's very interesting. Sit down, put that thing on your head, and see if you can fly a quadcopter with just your thoughts. I mean, if that works, it, I'm probably going to make the video more than five times because I'm just going to be uh, just tripping the whole time because I'd be so happy that it, it actually works and it's, it's going to be pretty crazy. So it's going to be pretty funny. Uh, that's happened to me before on something that tested really good. I just got stuck in a loop and um, yeah, <laughs> I just have to keep redoing the video. But let me know what you guys think. I think it's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, that's I really do think it's going to be pretty interesting. Those two projects, the the holographic flying drone project, uh, might be a little bit more complicated, but I am planning on starting the hexcopter. Uh, at least the the, the hexcopter that's going to carry that thing. Because even if we don't proceed with the LED thing, uh, the LED holographic screen display whatever it is they call it the led holographic fan i think if we don't proceed with that then we could go ahead and continue with a gimbal and a proper setup and basically a nice cheap it's actually a really budget flying camera drone so um with a lot of upgradable features which is really nice i don't know how well the frame is the thing was like a 130 bucks kit so you probably still get them off ebay i'll take a look i'll search for them but i'll have everything linked down below so yeah, I'll leave everything linked down below the things I talked about here as well as everything that's coming in special sections and I will begin something. I'm hoping it's the ESC tester and uh, yeah, I'll see you in a couple hours. Peace out guys.